Hi, this is Matt, and today we're going to talk about implied volatility skews found within the Excel-based API. Uh, you can contact me at orats.com and get the link and a key to plug into your own sheet so you can download these reports that we'll see today. There are 12 tabs. Two are premium subscriptions. Today we'll be talking about the money file, number five, and number six, the strikes. Money files expiration level strike is obviously strike by strike market and volatility information. The ORATS implied volatility system is an engine that runs throughout the day, calculates Greeks, smooth market values, implied volatilities, and shows market data. And we even have something that's available uh, that will interpolate and run very fast. Uh, one of the things that we do is calculate a residual rate, and that is used to align the call and put implied volatilities. And we express these on a strike by strike basis and are continuously smoothing the implied volatility skew throughout the day. And it's highly accurate. We get within the market bid ask over 98% of the time, and then we present it in volatility buckets, which we'll get into in a moment. Strike by strike information, as I mentioned earlier, shows the implied, the Greeks, smooth values, and the residual values, and you could compare the market data. So let's look at the sheet itself, then we'll go to the money file first. Uh, you can get data on a stock list, as we'll do here, or on all stocks so it sorts them by the diamond so it, as i said it it sorts it by expiration uh, and then there are some numbers that we use to uh, create alerts you could ignore that for now it, it tells the stock price and the risk-free rates i'll just format these a little better here um, so we've the yield rate is the dividend rate and the residual rate is the rate that lines up the call and puts like call put parity. And then we, we talk about uh, the slope of the residual rate and our confidence in that slope. We also have a confidence in the number of options and how wide they are uh, to uh, produce these volatilities by buckets. And then the MW vol is the market width volatility. So how wide in, in volatility terms. Uh, and then what we do is we report on volatility by volatility bucket. So the 100 delta call is the low strike call. And, and, that's, and then the 95 delta call, uh, you know, again, here's uh, for all the, the diamonds, the Dow Jones, and here's Facebook below it. And then we go on to show each vol bucket down by five. So the 50 delta would be the at the money vol bucket for the diamonds. And then what you could do is go ahead and look at the uh, strikes. Uh, so we'll use the diamonds again and get the data on a verbose. So this will go ahead and show us again what the stock price is, uh, the expiration date, uh, and the volume uh, on a strike by strike basis. Uh, the bid ask and the smooth value. So let's look at some of these and again I'll format these quickly. Uh, and then the put bid ask and uh, then we have the call bid implied volatility, the mid market implied and the ask implied and what our smooth market value is for the implied volatility. Um, again the interest rate and here's that residual rate uh, by strike, um, and we show the deltas, the theta, vega, rho, phi, driftless vega, and then users can also put in their own external volatilities and get their own external values for uh, based on those external uh, volatilities. So that's basically it for our uh, the ORATS. Uh, implied volatility system. I uh, hope you enjoy using the sheet and again contact me with any questions.